My dearest brothers and sisters. This is Tunia speaking. I love you so very much. People's souls are very much aware of what is going on here on earth. And while most people do not directly communicate with their souls, most people do listen to an extent to their intuition. And people's intuition comes from their soul. In particular, this means that people know on a semi-subconscious level that a group of dark controllers is pulling the strings behind the scenes and is farming them like cattle in order to feed on people's negative emotions. Interestingly, the modern political left and the modern political right have this same basic intuition but they react to this in a completely different way. The left correctly understand that a group of rich, evil, powerful, masculine energy beings seek to control them. This is completely true. However, the left isn't quite able to correctly pinpoint dark controllers as being the problem. And so the left incorrectly labels either rich people or men or the political right or nationalism or intolerance or the patriarchy as the enemy, none of which actually are the real problem. Part of why the left has become so aggressive and domineering and censor happy lately is that deep down they know that they don't quite understand what the problem is, and so they lash out at nearly everyone who is not them. The problem is rich people, and also big corporations, and also white people, and also men, and also right-wingers, and also people who emit too much CO2, and also other left-wingers who happen to have one or two wrong opinions, and also people who spread misinformation, and also people who don't realize their privilege, and also people who didn't get the jab, and also people who protested against COVID lockdowns, and also people who use words that are now considered bad, and also people who commit microaggressions, and also minorities who happen to disagree with the left, and also evangelical Christians, and also people who are against abortion, and also Elon Musk, and also Trump, and also Trump fans, and also plenty of world leaders worldwide, and also and also and also. The left is also rebelling against hierarchy, because indeed the dark controllers use hierarchies to oppress people, and often those hierarchies are purely based on power and corruption and wealth and connections, and not on merit or moral virtue. Of course, we agree that those kinds of hierarchies are not good. However, competence hierarchies should not be discarded in our view. For example, Hakan is a commander not because he murdered all possible rivals or because he bribed some people. He is a commander because he genuinely is incredibly good at his job, and it benefits our society that someone like Hakan has command over a certain group of soldiers and ships. Or to use an earth example, your hospitals could not function if the receptionist has an equal say in a patient's treatment as the doctor does. Similarly, the left is rebelling against gender roles, because in the past gender roles genuinely have been oppressive. And sure, we agree that women should be able to play sports or ride motorcycles if they want, and men should be able to cry, etc. That said, we do think that the average man and the average woman do genuinely have differences in their psychology and in how they view the world, and these differences are not purely physical and cultural. We think currently there is an overreaction against the oppressive gender roles of old. The left solution to the very real problem of certain evil people seek to control us and seek to extract all our resources is to build a strong government. Ironically, this government is actually one of the primary weapons that the dark controllers use to further control and rob people. This is a pattern that the dark controllers love to use. They present C as the cure to problem P, when in reality C actually makes P worse. If people believe this, then the dark controllers can spend the rest of eternity giving people more C, thereby making P worse and thereby justifying the application of more C. This is a destructive cycle. And while this may sound ridiculous if I spell it out like this, this actually happens all the time and this cycle is active right now in multiple areas of society. People usually are good-hearted and don't realize how psychopathic the dark controllers are, and so they don't even consider the possibility that people could sell them an antidote that's actually a poison, and then use the worsening symptoms as a reason to administer more supposed antidote that is actually poison. And yes, the dark controllers are using the following loop, government creates a problem, therefore the argument is made that government should become bigger in order to solve the problem that government created. And unfortunately, left-wingers have for the most part fallen for that destructive loop. That said, I will give a lot of credit to the fact that most left-wingers actually care about building a society where everyone can live together in peace and harmony. 
Sure, certain things that left-wingers do are counterproductive, such as censoring people. But the final goal is a noble one, and left-wingers are actively working towards that goal. Furthermore, left-wingers are working together towards that goal. Meanwhile the modern right more or less identifies the problem as being the left and big government. And while this isn't quite a bullseye analysis, the dark controllers are overlooked, it is true that the dark controllers are using the left and big government to achieve their goals. So in that way, their analysis is probably a bit closer to reality than the left-wing's analysis. This is also why right-wingers tend to be a bit calmer and less radical, in their minds, they have a very clear picture of what the problem is. The modern right-wingers' mentality of leave me and my loved ones alone puts them directly in opposition with the dark controllers, who want to control everyone including them. One shadow side of the modern right can be illustrated by remembering the following quote, all that is required for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. Ultimately, heaven on earth is not created by people insisting they be left alone or by people only really working for the benefit of themselves and their loved ones. Heaven on earth is created by people coming together and actively working towards that goal. Right-wingers could be doing more of that. Sure, some things would be a bit better if we stopped certain extreme things of the left and of government, but that doesn't by itself lead to the intergalactic post-scarcity future that many people are hoping for. So, the big picture is this, both the left and right are on some level recognizing that the dark controllers are trying to control them. And the left and right are both rebelling against that. The left solution to this problem is to create a big government. The right solution to this problem is to dismantle big government. And hence the left and right are locked in a very fierce conflict, because both perceive that the other side is making them unsafe, and people typically aren't reasonable when they feel unsafe. Meanwhile both the left and right are overlooking their actual enemy, namely the dark controllers who seek to enslave them both. Ultimately, the solution is people coming together, from the left and right, and working together to create a free post-scarcity society. You will find that all those divisive social issues will be much easier to address once people have a stable foundation. In the future, we expect that there will not be a strong political left, right divide on your world. Of course we are very much generalizing here. We understand that not everyone on the left and not everyone on the right thinks as we have suggested here. Still, we hope that this perspective has some value to you. With love, this was your star sister. Tunia. Yeah.